Lopez. Not a bad way to end the work week. 89 degrees, feels like 93, so it is hot, it is humid, but we don't even have any clouds out there, but clouds will likely fill back in tonight. Temperatures at the moment, again, upper 80s. We have some mid-80s closer to the coast. Gonzales, the hot spot on the map, 90 degrees, feels much hotter out there. We had feels like temperatures in the triple digits just earlier this afternoon. Still feels about 99 in Thibodeau. Overnight temperatures, only in the low and mid 70s because of the increased clouds as well as the breeze out of the south between 10 and 15. Liberty Lagoon opens tomorrow and if you are planning on going to Liberty Lagoon or just hanging out by the pool, you should be fine for the morning through the early afternoon, but storm chances do increase after about 2 o'clock or so. Not all of you will deal with rain, but if you do deal with rain, a lot of lightning could have some gusty wind and hail. Feels like temperature tomorrow, about 100 and five. So be sure, stay cool, stay hydrated, and don't forget the sunblock. Sunburn time only about 15 minutes tomorrow. A again, any storm that develops could be strong or even severe. So that is why the Storm Prediction Center has placed our area under a level one risk for severe weather, mainly for damaging wind and the large hail threat. But again, any thunderstorm that forms could produce gusty wind, frequent lightning, even some small hail, and then downpours. Here's a look at the future track tomorrow morning. We have mostly cloudy skies, breaks in the clouds by lunchtime, and then into the afternoon. This is when we'll have that potential for some thunderstorms. Thunderstorms, if they develop off to the east, uh, closer to the Mississippi Gulf Coast, and over the south and north shore, here's around 5, 6 o'clock. Cluster of storms moving over the Baton Rouge metro. Again, give or take a couple of hours. But after sunset, the rain activity will come to an end, and we should be mostly dry overnight. But then storm chances pick back up on Sunday, off and on. So most of the area, if not Everyone will get some rain on Sunday. If you miss out on Sunday, Monday, it's likely same for Tuesday. The upside of this temperatures will be in the 80s instead of the 90s. Here's a look at the severe thunderstorm outlook for Sunday, once again under a level one risk, but that's more so northwest of Baton Rouge. Same potential threats, damaging wind, large hail, lightning, but the heavy rain risk increases on Sunday and Monday. The weather prediction centers place the entire area under a level two risk for flash flooding, so excessive rainfall, but essentially that translates to our flood risk. So heavy rain, a short amount of time, could lead to some flash flooding. As of now, it doesn't appear as though it's going to be a widespread issue, but again, something to watch. Here's, uh, we're picking the future track back up on Sunday. Could have one round of storms Sunday morning and then picking it back up during the afternoon and evening. I do want to point this out. Watch the progression of this cluster right here. Not much movement. So that's why we're going to have to watch very carefully for some flash flooding to see where the heaviest of rain sets up. Rain, high rain chances linger into Monday, Tuesday, and possibly into Wednesday, but another front's going to move through the area Thursday, and we start to dry out by Friday, and Memorial Day weekend looks dry and hot as of right now. We just have to get through uh, at least some rainy days, but again, 80s instead of the 90s. Through next week, so Saturday through at least Friday, we could pick up two to four inches of rainfalls locally, higher amounts could see double or triple those amounts, as we well know, especially here along the northern Gulf Coast. And with deep tropical moisture in place, it's almost a sure bet. So again, over the weekend, highest rain chance Sunday, off and on rain, same for Monday, and then all next week we'll have highs in the mid-80s, daily rain chances at least until we hit Friday. And now it's time for forecast, but it is Forever Friend Friday, and Lorelai, you see she's smiling from ear to ear, she's up for adoption at Companion Animal Alliance here in Baton Rouge, and this weekend is Best Friends National Adoption Weekend, so Companion Animal Alliance is waiving all adoption fees on all ready-to-go pets. Also, if you can't adopt, consider fostering because they really, really need the help. If you want more information, go to caabr.org. Let's send it back to you. All right, Ashley.